Hi and welcome to this second video about rearranging uh, formulas and making Q the subject. And one of you asked me for my help on my website explainingmaths.com and asked on the forum if I could help with this or with these uh, questions. And of course I will help you too if you ask me any questions uh, on my site. Okay, so rearranging the, um, the formula, changing the subject. And these are slightly harder questions than before, okay? Um, let me take or put this question to the side. Let's focus on the first question first. Okay, five bracket Q minus three bracket equals Y bracket four minus three Q bracket. And we have to make Q the subject, which means eventually it has to say Q equals and then all the rest, okay? And in all those terms here on the right side, you cannot have any Qs here, okay? So it really has to say one Q, yeah? so Q equals and then only terms without any Q over there. Okay, and that's gonna be a little bit more challenging now compared to the previous video. Now let's let's have a, have a go. And again, there are more ways of doing this, but I always prefer to expand, okay? 5Q minus 15, don't forget that second term, had to multiply by five, equals 4Y minus three Y Q. And then we're going to rearrange, we're going to do it a little bit more uh, quickly. We're going to put all our Q terms on the left side and all the other terms, excuse me, on the right side. So I'm going to have 4Y plus 15. I'm going to have 5Q plus 3YQ. Okay, so I have two terms with a Q in it, and I have two terms without a Q. Okay, and now this is the point where a lot of students struggle, because they don't know what to do now. Because can I add these two terms? No, I can't, because they're not like terms. Eh? And please check my videos about simplifying expressions if you don't know what like terms are. So how do I get rid of that 5 and the 3Y? Eh? And that's going to be a little bit challenging. But there's only, or there's actually only one thing you need to do now, and that is factorize. So whenever you are a little bit troubled or confused, you should tell yourself, oh yes, Mr. Merrill told me I need to factorize because what is the common factor of these two terms that is Q? So if I factorize it, if I take Q outside of the brackets, five plus three Y equals four Y plus 15. And then what I do, I divide both sides by five plus three Y. And what do I get then? I get 4y plus 15 over 5 plus 3y. And that's your final answer. So again, you got those two terms of a Q. You cannot add them because they're not like terms. So you'll have to factorize it and then divide by 5 plus 3y in this case. Okay, moving on quickly to that second question. Let's get rid of all of that. Um, this one. Okay, so again, we have to make Q the subject. Um, and I have seven or minus seven Q here and a Q there. Well, nobody, at least I know you guys don't like fractions. So we always try to get rid of those fractions. And how do we do that? By multiplying it by Q minus five. Okay, but then I have to multiply the left side by Q minus five as well. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. Equals, I'm just gonna put two minus seven Q here. And A times Q is AQ, and A times minus five is minus five A. Okay, so I got rid of that fraction, and then this is what I get. And then I follow the same strategy, the same approach as my previous question, is where I put my terms of the Q on the left side. So I have AQ um, plus seven Q, equals two plus five A. And again, this is usually the moment that students get confused. AQ plus seven Q, you can't add them. They're not like terms, but now you realize I have to factorize it. Yeah, get that common factor out, which is Q, A plus seven in those brackets, two plus five A, and then you divide both sides by A plus seven in this case. Q equals two plus 5a over a plus 7. Now, and these are usually the types of questions about changing the subject, rearranging formulas, which are most difficult on an IGCSE or GCSE exam, yeah? Where you have those two terms and then you need to realize, you need to factorize, okay? So again, usually the more difficult question you can expect. Now, go to my site, guys, explainingmaths.com. 
you'll find all the resources you need, literally, yeah, from start to end, to, to understand and to pass your maths exam. And you can ask me questions as well if you have any. Please share this with your friends if it was useful. Yeah, You really help me if you do so. I uh, really appreciate it. And I wish you a very pleasant evening. Bye-bye.